Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Hi everyone. Guess what today is? Yeah, I know it's Wednesday and I know there's no new episode of Whitney because last week you saw the season finale. Whitney and Alex got married. How come that hasn't happened to me? Getting married to some hot sexy and funny comedian with her own show I don't know uh, but I do know is that baseball season is finally here and if there's one thing I love more than watching players hit home runs over the fence watching pitchers throw balls or or the outfielders catching one or the umpire yelling you're out or safe or you see some manager that's freaking out and you see him running out to the field kicking dirt on the base and sand on, and on the ref and yelling in his face it's watching the watching all that happen while I'm, while I'm chewing while I'm eating Cracker Jacks peanuts Popcorn, hot dogs, you name it. I love it. So anyway, opening day kicks off with not just a whimper, not with a big bang, but a great big boom. And when I mean boom, I mean hitting a ball right off the light and going boom. That's the impression I get. Because it's big because because it's baseball now you guys have your baseball hats you guys got on your baseball jerseys like I'm wearing right now take a look at the back you like <laughs> you got this over like what five seven years ago it's really still, still fits <laughs> and I do have a favorite baseball team now, you guys might hate me for this, but, uh, I happen to be a Yankees fan. Did you know that in 2009 they won the World Series in their new baseball park? Oh, sure, they done their thing in their old Yankee Stadium, but 2009 was their year. And last year, huh, St. Louis Cards won. Damn it. It should have been the uh, Texas Rangers. How should I know? They've been to the World Series like what two times, and still they're they're at the agony of defeat. But Albert Pujols is with the uh, Los Angeles Angels now, or the team formerly known as the California Angels or the Anaheim Angels. And we got a team, the team formerly known as, what am I saying? Well, without Albert Pujols hanging on the St. Louis cards, they've won the World Series. But can they do a repeat this year? You'll soon find out. And with that said in mind, the Florida Marlins are now known as the Miami Marlins. Why not just get it over and just call them the team formerly known as the Florida Marlins? They still live in Florida, by the way. We can just call them the Florida Marlins instead of Miami. They got a new baseball park. It is, they got a retractable roof, which is good. But the strangest thing is, I know this sounds dumb, I know this sounds crazy to some of you people, but uh, they got an aquarium right onto the, oh boy, what would happen if they hit, you know, if this happens, if the Oh, okay. Pick a foul ball and it hits the aquarium. 
or the uh, fans that are sitting, trust me, it wouldn't be pretty. Hey, the Washington Nationals got their new baseball park. So are the KC Royals. Miami, they've got theirs. Yankees, they have them. So do the uh, Mets. <laughs> I got a good feeling something might come up. Now with that said in mind, I know what you're thinking. Baseball. Now what's a ba uh, what oh now what's a good game of America's pastime with some movies? <laughs> well I got four of them right off the bat. Two of them have to be Major League one and two. The other one have to be a Sandlot and Rookie of the Year. Now occasionally I'm a big fan of the Major League franchise. One and two. Charlie Sheen does an excellent job of playing Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn. Of course, you've got the Cuban bad boy Pedro Serrano and his sidekick Joe Boo. He's still having trouble hitting the curveball. Then you've got Roger Dorn, a free agent. I don't know what it is about him, but uh, I gotta give props to Corbin Burnson playing the role of Roger Dorn. Then you got Jake Taylor, the broski of the week. Sure, he's got bad knees, but that man can really catch balls. Or catching a date with Rene Russo. Damn it. <laughs> then you got the manager, Lou Brown. That mustache is unbelievably 100% legendary. Who can sport a cool mustache like that? I can. Then you got Willie Mays Hayes. Plays like Mays, runs like Hayes. <laughs> or if you can count two roles that have been played by two different guys that I would truly adore and like. One would be Wesley Snipes. He did a perfect job. Omar Epps! Hey, what can I say about him? I like him. Then you got the Hiroshi Kanakazi Tanaka. Former superstar of the Tokyo Giants. Wow. I'm telling you, that guy's 100% dangerous. As soon as he gets the third strike, he takes a baseball bat, <clears throat> crushes it over his head, and, well, he don't want to piss that guy off. <laughs> hmm. And then, last but not least, you got. Drew Baker. He's still having trouble throwing the ball to the pitcher. He's throwing it all over the place. First base, third base, second base, outfield. The only thing he needs is a catalog or a swimsuit of women. Or a catalog or a magazine. Anything erotic. How come he doesn't even whack off? Well, that's my video, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, I still got more. What am I saying? This is only t this is only the special edition. Anyway, I've got more Sandlot. That's my favorite movie. I kind of like that movie because, uh, well, got all sorts of cool characters. Perfectly like go with the. Uh, Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Kick and hit home runs, steal bases. Wow. I wonder how he does it not to get thrown out. Plus there's the beast. I am not going over that fence retrieving this ball. If I do, if I hit a home run, I'm not going back there and getting it. Mm -mm. Unless if someone puts a green wall up there. And then you got Rookie of the Year. Y'all remember Thomas Ian Nicholas, don't ya? Don't ya? This is before he became a superstar in the American Idol... American...
This is this is years before he became the superstar in American Pie. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but he used to be in that movie Rookie of the Year. You know, with Gary Busey, Daniel Stern. My only question is, Mr. Nicholas, can you still pitch? Can you still give him a heater? The high, stinky chatter! That's my only question to ask you. Well, anyway, those are my baseball movies and a couple of things I had to tell you about opening day. So, let me leave you all with this. Baseball is like a drug, a gateway drug to the land of home runs. And it smells so good. So that's my special edition. But you can follow me on Twitter at ECW17 or use the hashtags Viewmongous, Spectacular, or Magnormous. Number two. Add me as a friend on Facebook or like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash ECW17. Also, you subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ECW17. Like my video, comment, subscribe to it. Do what you gotta do, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I gotta go now, but you guys have a nice baseball season. And please, whatever you do, as Lou Brown said, Get in front of the damn ball. Don't give me none of this old maid bullshit.